Tom Kippen. Now, Tom, I know how we've been talking about how the UP 200, the weather has kind of put a damper on things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that's, been, that's been tough. It's yes. been a tough day for us, and I'm sure everybody involved with that huge organization and all of that stuff. But we do have some pretty views. Yeah, and I mean, overall in the state of Michigan, it's been a tough week. And, um, you know, we had, you know, the not so good breaking news on Monday down state in East Lansing. And then you're right, another blow today with the UP 200 getting canceled. But I heard we're still going to try to get some things together for Friday. Night. Oh, yeah, it's going to we're still celebrating. It's still going to be a party here and in downtown Marquette. Yeah, I, and I can't wait to see all that on television. So it looks like it is going to be a good time downtown Marquette. So you should still come out definitely, especially if you live around here locally, definitely should head on down and check it out. Downtown Marquette on Friday evening. It looks like they're going to have some good stuff going on down there, but we do have an amazing weather photo from yesterday, Valentine's Day of uh, Violet Boyle before the clouds started moving in and you can see the sun there in the distance coming up there. And I believe that's the Upper Harbor Lighthouse. I can't confirm this, but what I think is going on here is she's down on the shore there and the pier that you walk out in the summertime to see the lighthouse is kind of a little bit iced over. So you can see the ice there on kind of the pier. Water's wide open and there's the beautiful sunrise on Tuesday morning, Valentine's Day. Thank you, Violet, for letting me use that on the 906 Weather Watchers page and also let me use it during WJMN Local 3 News. All right, next weather photo here. Great Lakes Storm Chasers Kingsford. Another photo from yesterday, but I had to use it. Just beautiful here. We have the Great Lakes Storm Chasers got this in Kingsford here. Just a beautiful sunrise from the other day. Thanks for letting us use that. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page on Facebook, feel free to join on Facebook. Check it out. Search. Beck and I would love to show off your weather photos or your pet photos during WJMN Local 3 News. I got to get Bat and Miss Loretta on. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One of these days we'll get them on mm -hmm. our 906 Weather Watchers segment here on WJMN Local 3 News. And we miss Charlie. As well. Yeah, where's Charlie Ben? <laughs> yeah, got to see what he's up to as well. But head on over to our WJM and Local 3 Facebook page. Check it out. We'd love to have you join. We're going to take our Local 3 radar network full now, and you can see we do have some snow showers moving across the UP and across Lake Superior here. And as we close on in, in and around the Marquette area, including here at the WJM and Local 3 studios, we do have some snow showers flying around, but it's really not adding up to much. Three things to know here as we go through the rest of the night. If you don't see the snow showers, you're not escaping the cold. We're looking at colder temperatures tonight, Thursday and Friday. We're looking at the snow showers tonight through Friday morning, and it's also going to come with gusty winds tonight through tomorrow. Now, the gusty winds take a little bit of a break on Friday, but by late Friday afternoon into Friday night, they return. And that's going to be a south to southwesterly gusty wind, and that brings in the milder air back to the UP as we get to the weekend. Temperatures in the teens and 20s right now. Wind chills, a little bit of a bite in the air. Sawyer International, wind chill of 6. Officially at the Weather Service today, before sunrise, 40 was today's high, 42 today's low or high downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard. 18, the current low temperature at the National Weather Service in Nagani Township. So storm system number one, right hand corner of your screen, moving on off to its east storm system number two. That's that area of low pressure moving across Ohio that may skirt the Lake Michigan shoreline across the UP tomorrow. Otherwise for us, it's snow showers, lake effect snow showers coming off of Lake Superior, and that will continue through tomorrow into tomorrow night. Eventually it shuts off on Friday morning. Then as we get to Friday night, a storm system will be coming across northern Ontario and that's going to bring us some gusty winds out of the south to southwest and maybe a few snowflakes close to Lake Superior. But I'll just let this run through lunchtime tomorrow and into the Friday morning, Friday afternoon time frame. You can see our in-house computer model not getting too crazy with the snow, but you may have to pull out the snow shovels. Teens tonight across the UP and then tomorrow will definitely be a colder day across the UP, but we are looking at sunshine returning as we get to the daytime on Friday and then for for the weekend, maybe a snow shower, maybe a rain shower or two, but we're really not looking at much in the way of precipitation as we go towards the weekend. Temperatures will be on the rebound as well. And then as we get you into the early to perhaps the middle part of next week, we're looking at colder temperatures returning once again. Right now, our precipitation chances are on the limited side, especially this weekend, but we'll keep the chances, including here for Houghton, on the smaller side. But as confidence increases in our 
high snow chances will increase them accordingly as we get closer to the middle of next week. Sounds good. Thank you, Tom.